here in this video i would like to present a brief report on why to choose electrical and electronics engineering for your career why the electrical and electronics engineering comes together almost all the modern appliances are designed such that it is a combination of electrical and electronic circuitry the electric circuit in any appliance will help to operate whereas the electronic circuit will interrupt the interpret the signal or the instruction which is being provided by the user and make the machine to perform according to the instructions for example when you consider a washing machine it will be having a driver which will be driven by the electrical motor and similarly the commands which has been given or the instruction that has been given by the user will be interpreted to the particular electrical appliance by the electronic circuitry now here the main objective of this particular video is to tell you what are the scope of electrical and electronics engineering and also what are the government initiatives which have enhanced the scope of electrical and electronics engineering the first major scope is the mission plan 2022 due to which there is a made there will be a major change in the electrical and electronics engineering and due to which many people are moving into business in the electrical and electronics engineering the second major initiative by the government is that 100 percentage electrification over villages similarly the power pay cable from the grid have to reach a transformer in each village and to enlarge the capacity of renewable energy by 175 megawatt sorry gigawatt by 2022 now out of this 175 gigawatt nearly 100 gigawatt will be from the solar 60 gigawatt will be from the wind energy 10 gigawatt will be from the biogas and 5 gigawatt will be from the micro hydro power plants so there will be huge expansion that will be taking place in the power system by the intrusion of renewable energy initiative that is being taken by the government at the third third major initiative by the government is the electric vehicle now here the government has given various policies regarding the electric vehicles and various subsidies were being announced in the recent budget due to which the ev market is also going to go to higher heights so due to which the scope for electrical and electronics engineering has raised to a higher level or higher value now when you consider the estimated growth of electrical engineering market so the electrical engineering market in india is expected to see an unprecedented growth as the projection for net electrical engineering market is about 100 billion us dollars when you consider the growth of the btg that is boiler turbine and the generator equipment segment it may reach up to some 125000 crore rupees whereas the transmission and distribution equipment segment may touch the figure of about 375000 cross similarly on the other hand the partnership of indian electrical engineering in global electrical engineering trade will also rise by 2 percentage by 2022 now it is just hanging by about some 0.8 percentage now due to the advancements in indian electrical engineering the import rate also has decreased by about some 7 to 8 percentage so due to which there is a huge job opportunities there for the electrical and electronics engineering engineers and according to the report of vision 2022 there will be a direct recruitment of 1.5 million electrical engineers and similarly and also there will be a indirect recruitment of about some 2 million electrical engineers this data is about from the dhi.nic.in Similarly when you consider the electronics industry government has also taken various initiatives with respect to the electronics engineering industry the first one is phased manufacturing program so this program deals with the production of electronic products within the national boundaries the second one is information technology agreement 
of WTO, it focuses on devising the right methods for encouraging the production of electronic goods. And the third one is the interest subsidy that is provided to various manufacturing units to support the expansion of the existing units and also to set up new manufacturing units. And the third one is the exemption on the import duty which also has lead to new manufacturing units. The next one is the government support for ATMP that is for assembly, testing, marking and packaging lines for specified or identified electronic component products. This particular support is provided by the Indian government. Similarly, various programs or various schemes have been launched for the industry in order to boost brownfield and greenfield manufacturing clusters. Similarly, when you, as I told you, there is a major scope in the electrical and electronics engineering, so due to which the job market may also rise. So according to today's uh, scenario, the job market of electrical engineers in India is out of 100 engineers, 6 engineers in the semiconductor and other electronic component manufacturing industries or electrical engineers. Similarly, in case of research and development in the physical engineering and life science, it is about 8%. Similarly, in navigational, measuring, electromedical and control instruments manufacturing industries, 6 engineers or electrical engineers out of 100 engineers. Similarly, in engineering services, 90%, 19% or electrical engineers. Similarly, electrical power generation, transmission and distribution industry, 10% of the engineers or electrical engineers. Similarly, when you consider the job market scenario of electronic engineers, 9% of the engineers or electronic engineers in the engineering services. Similarly, in federal government excluding postal services, 13% of the electronic engineers and in navigational measuring electromedical and control instruments manufacturing industry, 7 out of 100 engineers or electronic engineers. Similarly, in semiconductor manufacturing engineer industries, 12% of the engineers or electronic engineers and in telecommunication systems, 18% of the engineers or electronic engineers. Similarly, now based on the labor statistics, statistics survey, here when you look into the growth of job market of electrical and electronics engineers, it will grow at a pace of 7% per year, which is no less than any other industry. It also shows the ample scope for electrical and electronics engineering industry worldwide. Similarly, according to the particular survey, the projections for the job opportunities by 2026 says that the job size will be about 3,45,800 jobs for electrical and electronics engineers with a 7% hike. Hence, the total increase in job opportunities will be 21,200. If talk about the electrical engineers only, the number of jobs in 2016 were 1,88,300 and it will witness a hike of 9% that is 16,200 in numbers by 2026. Similarly, on the other hand, there was total jobs for electronics engineers except computer engineers is 1,36,300 in 2016. It will see a growth of 4% and 5,100 new opportunities will be added in respective industries. So there is a huge opportunity for the electrical and electronics engineers. So my suggestion is that people who have completed the 12th standard, there is a huge opportunities in the electrical and electronics engineering industry. You are welcome to join the electrical and electronics engineering.